How's everyone doing today? Today we're going to be talking about version lock. All right, so what this is, this is a feature that's used to lock a package at a certain version. The reason why they do this is because, for example, if you update your whole system, then that package will be updated to a newer one, which could be unstable and it sometimes doesn't work the way it should. And the reason that's being is because the one that people usually version lock or companies and things like that is because it's been tested and it's known that it works good in their production system. So before they unlock the version and then let you upgrade it is when they know that it's been thoroughly tested and it works as it should. So I am working on this lab right here and uh, this one has to do with uh, version lock. All right. And it's a legacy Ruby application um, that's hosted on this app server. So the server has been pulled out of production and preparation for an update to both the application and the underlying infrastructure. So however, when you attempt to update the Ruby package to the version 2.5.9, the server indicates there is no update. So you run a Ruby dash V and you can see that it's on an older version. So our job is to discover why it doesn't work. So what we can do is um, yum update. Actually, let's do DNF. DNF is the newer version. So update. Actually, let's do upgrade. My bad. Upgrade Ruby. So let's see what we get here. All right, nothing to do. Um, dependencies resolved. So what we can do is do Ruby V. As you can see, um, it's not at the newest version. And how do we know that? We can do search Ruby. So what we're doing here, we're searching for the packages. So right here, it says nothing to do. And then we can see that it's at an older version. And if we search the packages, we can see what the version that it should be at. So if we just type in Ruby on itself, we could check the version on here. All right, and how we can check the version on this would be All right, let's see what information we get. We can see the, uh, the one that we have uh, of the packages. So the installed package is this one. 2.53 if we scroll down we can see this is the newest one so uh, this symptom if you ever see this uh, obviously it's for the version lock that's what we're going over but you won't know what's wrong with it because it's like you can't update so the way you will know is by typing DNF version lock list and if you do this this should give you the list of packages that do have a version lock on it as we can see Python and Ruby has one so what I can do is delete the version lock on Ruby. And then it should be deleted. And then if I go back to what we did in the beginning to upgrade Ruby, it should be able to upgrade. As you can see, there it is. And once we're done locking it now, we can check we can check Ruby info or we can check the version of it. We can see now it's 2.59. Now we can lock it back up by adding it back. All right, now that we added it back, now we can list it and we can see that it's added back, but now it's the newest version that uh, we want it to be at. All right, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This is part of the Red Hat Specialist exam.